Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. Every screen that you see has a resolution, meaning the number of pixels down by the number of pixels across. It determines how things look on the screen, the clarity of icons, the size of icons, the general use of screen space. If you have a rooted Android phone, you can actually change the resolution of your phone to get better use out of every pixel on your screen. And in this video, we're going to show you how to use LCD resolution to change the pixel density of your phone. Let's get to it. Now your Android phone has to be rooted in order to force the DPI to be something different than it ships with. Uh, so if your phone is not rooted, go over to XD Developers or another Android development community and root your phone so you get super user permission. Now this also works a lot better if you're doing it on a phone that has a high resolution display. For example, this is the Samsung Galaxy Note. It's got 1280 down by 800 across. You've got a lot of pixels to work with. Uh, so when you make things smaller by changing the pixel density, you can still see the icons. Other great phones to do this with would include uh, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the LG Nitro HD, the HTC Resound, anything that goes beyond that WVGA 800 by 480 screen will really, uh, you'll be able to do some cool stuff with. So let's change the, the screen resolution. We're using an app here called LCD Resolution. Uh, it's free in the Android market, and literally it's a slider that lets you change the resolution. By default, we've got a 320 uh, DPI pixel density on the Galaxy Note. Let's change this a little bit. Let's go down to 290, and we're going to reboot. And you're going to see how everything's going to get smaller and more space efficient. Okay, here we are, and what you'll notice immediately is everything smaller on the screen. You can fit more on the screen at one time. Even the Android notification bar up here has become more skinny. There's more space between the icons, and thus we could add more if we wanted to. And you can see more things on the screen at one time, a better use of the display in my opinion. Uh, when you go into your other applications, for example the settings, you get to see more settings on the screen at one time. It goes all the way down to privacy now. Let's bump the DPI up even higher. Let's go all the way down to 240. Uh, things start to break when you go much below that, especially on the Galaxy Note here. Uh, the Android market may not work, the phone dollar doesn't work. So there's a balance that you have to strike to get the right DPI that works for you and your device. Okay, here we are at 240 DPI. The icons are even smaller. More stuff is on the screen. The Android notification bar up here is much smaller. It takes up a very small portion of the screen. If we go into settings, we can see down to language and keyboard, even a little bit into voice and input. So you really get to maximize my screen space. But if you go into the dialer, for example, it's kind of broken. Uh, and if you go into the Android market, certain apps won't work on your device because your device is telling uh, the market that it has a screen resolution that is not a phone, it's not a tablet, it just doesn't work with anything. So the sweet spot on this particular device, I think, would be an LCD resolution of around 300, but you'll, you'll have to mess around on your device to see what works for you. And let's see what happens when we change the resolution of the Samsung Galaxy S2. We've got a lower res, 800 by 480 display. We're running a third-party launcher here, ADW Launcher EX, because uh, TouchWiz doesn't like when you change the DPI unless you apply a patch to it. So by default, we're at 240. Let's go down to 180, and you'll see what happens. Okay, here we are, we're back. We've got more space on our home screen again. The uh, Android notification sh shade takes up less of the screen. So really you're, you're getting to see more screen contents here. Um, and ADW Launcher works very well with the higher PPI. Let's go much higher than that and see what we can do with a really, really, really tiny, uh, a very, very small density, 198. Let's go back and see what it looks like. Okay, and now things are kind of unusable. You can barely read the notification uh, tray up there. Everything's super small, but of course this means that you could fit probably 40 icons on your home screen if you wanted to. Uh, but everything else works pretty well. If we go into settings, you get to see almost every setting in one view. That's kind of the beauty of changing your pixel, pixel density setting. You can really take advantage of the screen space uh, to a, a higher degree than it comes with from the factory. So again, the program's called LCD Resolution. You must be rooted to use this, and it's a lot of fun, especially if you have an Android phone with a higher resolution screen. Check it out and let us know what you think. Let us know what a perfect DPI setting is for your particular device, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. That's it for now.